Hi everyone, I'm Kenneth and I'm a software front-end engineer at AWS. In this demo, I will introduce and walk you through the visualization experience of the data lineage feature in Amazon DataZone. The catalog asset details page lets you browse through the asset and dive into the details of interest. One feature you can now dive into is data lineage. For this, simply go into the lineage tab to graphically browse to understand where the data is coming from or who is using the asset you are browsing. Now let's take a look at the asset inventory table. You can see that the asset has two states in data zone, the in-draft inventory asset and the published asset. What you are seeing here is a producer's view and therefore they get more details than a consumer. By clicking on the node, a panel will be displayed to show additional information on the lineage node, such as the node ID and metadata forms. By clicking on the schema tab, I'm able to see the output and source columns. By clicking on the history tab, I'm able to see the list of lineage event timestamps for this node. Let's take a scenario where the producer wants to know the provenance of data. To do that, the user can click on the upstream expand arrow. And this will open up more lineage nodes upstream. You can see that there is a job inventory ETL that is bringing together data from inventory data stored in different regions. Let's expand further from the job nodes to see where that data is coming from. Now that we know the provenance, it does look like the data is being sourced from the right place. Let me take a look at the aggregation that happens. Let's click on the inventory ETL job node. The job node provides all the details about the job, including the query that was executed during those runs. The history tab shows the different job runs. I can select a different run to see additional run details. Every node has a history tab, which would display different lineage event timestamps for that particular lineage node. By selecting a different lineage event timestamp, I'm able to open a separate mini tab to show the lineage for the event timestamp that I have selected. The user is able to switch and close in between the mini tabs. Now that we have validated the upstream scenario, let's go to the downstream. I'm a data engineer who has produced this asset. I want to make some updates to the pipeline. As an example, we started collecting data from a new region, and this is going to introduce a spike in analysis to the downstream users. Instead of the downstream users being surprised, I want to be proactive to inform them, but to do that, I need to know who the downstream users are. Let's take a look at the subscription target nodes on the right and check who is consuming this data. I see that there are three teams using this data. By clicking on these nodes, I can see additional information on the subscription targets. I also want to see what else they are doing with the subscribe data. When I expand, I'm able to see that they are using the subscribe data in a different environment. I would also like to see how the columns of my data has transformed. I can select the columns dropdown to display the column lineage. I can see that these columns from these tables has been combined during this job run to create this inventory data set. We can also search for a particular column that we want to see lineage for.
Column lineage also supports pagination so the user can navigate to the next page to find a particular column. The lineage graph fully supports zooming, panning, drag and drop, and filtering the graph to only display the dataset nodes. The user can also reset the graph and start from the beginning. With Amazon Data Zone's data lineage feature, data users can visually experience their data from its source to where it is being used. Thanks for watching.